completely and totally of his grace. Now, I want to show you, I want to show you a picture of grace. And in a moment, it'll make sense, the title of the message. Dick and Judy Hoyt had a son named Rick Hoyt. When Rick was born, the umbilical cord was around his neck and his oxygen supply was cut off for an extended time. And the doctors told them he will never walk or talk and you should institutionalize him. But they decided not to. When he was 10 years old, some engineers developed, and this was by the way in 1973. So think about the technology back then. They developed a computer because they found out that Rick was extremely intelligent and Judy, his mother, taught him how to read, uh, but then taught him the alphabet and he could do it with his eyes by looking at letters, but he couldn't walk or talk. So then they developed a computer where he could look at a letter and bump like a big mouse thing and click that letter and he could learn to spell and write sentences and then the computer would actually talk. That technology now is all over the world helping handicapped people, but they invented it for this young man. And it's been advanced many times. When he was 15 years old, one of his classmates was in an accident and paralyzed and they were going to run a um, 5K to raise money for him. And he, through the computer, said to his father, I want to run in that race. So his father, who was not a runner, who served as a lieutenant colonel in our armed forces, decided to train so he could push his son in a wheelchair. He got a 100-pound sack of concrete and put it in a wheelchair and would run every day while his son was at school. By the way, once they developed that computer, Rick was able to go to public school, graduate from high school, and then graduate from college as well. So his father pushed him in that race, and after the race, through the computer, he told his father, when I'm running, it's the first time, it's the only time I don't feel handicapped. So his father kept doing this. Now, they have run in 72 marathons and 257 triathlons. A triathlon is 2.4 miles of swimming, 112 miles of cycling, and 26.2 miles which is a marathon, at the end of that of running. When Rick, the son, swims, he's in a little raft, and Dick, his father, is pulling him swimming in the water. When Rick rides the cycle, he's in a chair, specially designed for him on the front of the bicycle while his father pedals. When Rick runs, He's in a chair that his father pushes. So I want to show you a picture of grace. Watch this. Who taught the sun where to stand in the morning? And who told the you can only come this far And who showed the moon Where to hide till evening Whose words alone can catch a falling star Well, I
I'm in the chair. And so are you. Every finish line we cross is because the Father has been pushing us and pulling us and carrying us. <laughs> 